kind of old, True. my life's kind of boring, also true. but I'll film it anyway. No one asked for this. So hope you're ready for it, cause I'm blocking till Christmas Day. Oh my god, please never let me do that again. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Vlogmas number three. I can't believe it's like going really fast. It's just gonna keep rolling. Oh, you can see the Christmas tree in the background, kind of cute. Um, today is like just a normal work day, but I'm meeting up with my friend Rachel today, which I'm so excited. Her channel is Rachel Rambles on YouTube and she is like the sweetest and we haven't caught up in a while. So it'll be fun. We're getting lunch in like West Hollywood. I've never been to this place before, but I've heard it's really good. So we're gonna go check it out. I just got ready in record time. Honestly, I'm quite surprised how fast I got ready. I think I got ready in like 45 minutes and I washed and dried and curled my hair. So it just shows <laughs> with ADHD, if you have enough pressure put on you time-wise, sometimes it ends up working out, but most of the time it doesn't. Anyways, here is my outfit of the day. It is yet another rented item from Newly. Again, not sponsored, but if they want to pay me, that's fine. It's just, I'm trying to use these items as much as possible because um, my subscription is up soon and I'm going to have to return all this stuff. So here is what I am wearing today. This sweater is also from Lisa Says Ga, and I actually ordered um, a similar one to this. I like bought it and I immediately returned it because it's quite scratchy. It's like not the most comfy thing in the world, but I'm like really sensitive to that kind of stuff. But I figured if I rent it, I don't have to like invest the money in it. I can just give it back. And I wore it when I was in Arizona. I got lots of compliments on it when I was home for Thanksgiving. And it is kind of itchy, but I have like a t-shirt on under it. So it's not that bad. And then these jeans are from ASOS. I got them before I went to England. They're very comfortable. Or wait, are these from Hollister? One of the two. Um, I'll find out and let you know in the links below. And then I have my little silver ballet slippers on these are from Target I think no I lied these are Steve Madden and they're so cute and comfy I can walk in them like all day so this is like my funky little outfit of the day I also have these really cute can you even see that these really cute bow earrings that I got on Amazon that I'm obsessed with and then my glasses are just my prescription I think these are from glasses USA I think so that is today's look we're gonna head in the car and go meet up with lovely Rachel for lunch so let's do it up my lunch with Rachel that was so nice to catch up we hung out for a couple hours and just chatted it was lovely the food was delish and now I'm headed home because we have to have our internet service today it's so weird like I don't know if anyone else has had this problem with spectrum specifically but um, the internet in our living room is at like 200 megabytes per second or something like that when you run the test but our bedroom is like eight and Drew's office is four. <laughs> so the internet is just like really messed up. So we have to have someone come out and service it and blah, blah, blah. So that's what we have to be home for. We did have plans to go to Trader Joe's and like buy some stuff. So I don't know if like that's possible. Um, if we have time beforehand, Drew has to work. So we'll see what ends up happening. But it was a lovely lunch. I'm so glad I got to catch up with Rachel. She's lovely and amazing. If you don't follow her already, I would definitely recommend checking her out. I'll link her channel down in the description. She's actually doing Vlogmas this year and like doing every single day. So definitely recommend checking her out. Love her vlogs. So now I'm going to head home and get some more work done. I'm going to head back into my editing black hole and we will catch up in a bit. Terrible lighting alert. All right. Hey, it's your girl. It's your girl. Oh my God. We are finished with our work day. I'm working. <laughs> You're working so hard. <laughs> and now we're at Trader Joe's. We're gonna get some like holiday stuff. We wanna see what they have for like holiday treats. We wanna see if they have mystery bags, boxes that They're you've been bags, seeing yeah. on TikTok. We also need groceries. We need groceries. And then also we wanna get some garland because we saw again on TikTok that they have like long strands of real garland for like $13 or $10 or something like that. No. So, oh yeah. And when we went to our friend's house last night, they had some. And so we're influenced. Anyway, let's go. First Trader Joe's run of the holiday season. We've located the garland. No, no. <laughs> let's get two. Look what they got like. Christmas fake flowers, Christmas plants. They got garland out everywhere, poinsettias. Oh, 
Oh my god, yeah. this looks so good. Oh, Moo didn't like those. <laughs> we got candy cane flavored JoJo's, Belgian cookies, a gingerbread house kit, which I now regret not getting that one because it's so much cuter. There's owls and foxes. <laughs> Guys, things are um not looking good. It's it's about to be unhinged. Oh, anyway, we have too much stuff already because I'm hungry. And this is bad. This is very bad. Whoops! Whoopsie daisies! It happened. It's fine. It's time, it's time for a Trader Joe's haul. It's a holiday edition Trader Joe's haul. All right, so here we go. Starting from the top, we fully recognize that this is excessive. This is just what we do for fun, okay? Let us live. So we're gonna start with the frozen stuff because we this is the most we've ever gotten when it comes to like desserts that we want to try. So the first one is Italian custard cream pies. That looks delicious. So obviously we saw this pretzel bread pudding with a salted caramel sauce. I think it has like pieces of pretzel in it as well. So we'll have to have that with some ice cream because that sounds phenomenal. I'm look who got ice cream. <laughs> oh yeah. I did. Got some vanilla ice cream. This French vanilla from Trader Joe's honestly is like a really decent vanilla ice cream in my opinion. We got two of these Korean sweet pancakes. These are so delicious. You like put them in the air fryer or on a pan and then you put some ice cream with them. Heavenly. We also got this tiramisu. Have I always had this? Cause we've never seen it before. And it's like two individual tiramisus and you just keep it in the freezer and then you thaw it when you want some. Like how amazing is that? You want some. We also got an iced gingerbread squares little thing and this looks amazing. I love anything gingerbread, especially when it has like frosting. This is frosting. Oh. You'll see. Mm -hmm. oh you'll see because we got a lot of gingerbread stuff. We got mini chocolate mousse desserts. It's like a Belgian style. I think it's like um, two different kinds of chocolate mousse and then it has a shortbread crust. So that looks delicious. Okay, then just for random stuff, we decided to try this white bean chicken chili um, because it's just good to have like in the fridge. And I love white bean chicken chili. So like this with like a little salad on the side or something, delicious. We got some brie cheese and some unexpected cheddar for like a little cheese board. We got the pesto chicken breast, this marinated chicken from Trader Joe's is really good. I decided to try this for a lunch, the turkey gobbler wrap. It has roast turkey, breast, stuffing, cranberries, and cream cheese, and then it has a dipping sauce with it. So I thought I would try that. We got orange juice and tangerine juice. No, we got tangerine juice and apple juice. Yeah. Drew calls it his appy juice. Parmesan cheese. We got the shredded kind for like a couple recipes we want to try. We got unsweetened almond milk. We got some salmon to make salmon bowls. Next bag. Mm. But wait, there's more. In this bag, we got Trader Joe's and the astounding multi-flavor JoJo's. This is chocolate enrobed sandwich cookies. <laughs> it's a very fancy way to say dipped. It has double chocolate flavor, peppermint flavor, peanut butter flavor, and vanilla ginger flavor. And these all look so damn good. And I couldn't resist. We also decided that like, if we don't eat any of this stuff, either we'll have friends over and they can eat it, or we can like take it back to Arizona and eat it over the holidays, like bring it to our families or whatever. We saw these apple cranberry tarts that looked delicious for like a breakfast, but on honestly like a dessert would be really good too. Some ice cream, hence why we got the ice cream. So these look phenomenal. I wanna eat one right now. We also got these, I wish it came in a smaller pack, but whatever, such is life. Oh no. We'll try to find a way to eat it, but these are the gingerbread sandwich cookies. And it looks like there's like some frosting or like some cream in between these gingerbread cookies. And oh man, I love gingerbread cookies. We also got Jingle Jangle. It has a bunch of different candy in it. I feel like I've seen these in past years, but I don't think we've tried it before. There's milk chocolate candies, dark chocolate Jojo cookies, milk and dark chocolate peanut butter cups, milk and dark chocolate pretzels, and dark chocolate covered caramel popcorn. Yes, please. So this is, I think, what it's supposed to look like, all of it. So we'll see. We got an olive wood 
serving board thing for like our cheese boards because we have a small one. We're in our cheese board era. We're in our cheese board era, so we just wanted to get something else. And we heard people say that this is like a really good one. It lasts a long time. But we got a couple more um, like holiday things to try. They had these drinks. This first one is called Something Spritzy, and it's a sparkling festive beverage with grapefruit, cranberry, and orange juices from concentrate and aromatic bitter flavors. So it's like a cute little, for like a mocktail or something, and then sparkling honey crisp apple juice. So like sparkling cider type of thing. So those will be really cute with, um, we're gonna make like some cran rosemary ice cube type of things. Just festive drinks, basically. We were inspired from the Christmas bar in the last vlog for sure. Then for just the basics, we got Brussels sprouts and broccolini just to have for some dinners this week. We have a lot of meat in the freezer, so we're gonna try to go through that. We got some Dutch yellow potatoes, little babies. We got four things of tuna for various lunches. We got some bananas. We got some marinara sauce. Trader Joe's marinara honestly isn't bad. We do add a little bit of sugar to it to make it like a little sweet and it's very good. We got a baguette to make sandwiches with and then also just have with like cheese boards and stuff. We got some turkey jerky, the teriyaki flavor. That's the best one in my opinion. It's so delicious. We got these mini cucumbers because when we have our salmon bowls, we're going to make like um kind of like a marinated cucumber quick, quick salad. Roll. A quick, a quickle if you will. A quickle. Um, we got some, they're like their version of Ritz crackers. These are so good. I want to eat them right now. This was, I think, the last like holiday thing we got besides what we're going to show you. But we got the, it's called Step Up to the Snack Bar Mix. Snack mix with honey mustard pretzel pieces, honey roasted peanuts, corn chips, cheddar cheese, rocket crackers, honey roasted sesame sticks, and chili lemon corn sticks. So kind of like a pub mix, but like a little different. And I just really want to try this right now. Should we try it? Mm. Yes. Good. Wow. Yeah. It's like all the flavors are mixed in together. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> Off he goes. I like snack food. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry for eating. We got some spaghetti. We have an orange to make some orange garland. We have a tomato. And then we have these six like fruit leather things. I got two apple blueberry, two apple strawberry, and two apple raspberry. They're delish. And then the last thing, I promise this is it. This was like half of the price oh, of the order. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to make too much of a mess. We got two of these garlands, because they were only like $10. So we're gonna hang them over the windows in our living room. And then we also got, to go in place of our cinnamon broom, we got this cute little, I think this is, are these, is this mistletoe? Or right. is it just like little berries? But it's just really cute, so why not? We're getting some freshness going up in here. We got a little poinsettia, like a tiny little baby one. I think this was like three dollars. <laughs> that wasn't enough. We also got... wait. I should ask. <laughs> like literally. A whole four. This is unhinged. Do we have enough greenery? You think? We need more. Oh, Lee. We got um like a little um. Yeah, it's like a floral arrangement, but they have greenery. So we're gonna like arrange this in a little bouquet. There's some baby's breath and then this, I think it's called like an evergreen. Oh look, there's a pine cone. Mm -hmm. That's why I got it. Yeah. It smells so good. Yeah, it does. My car smelled unreal, by the way, so. Oh. What? You guys need this. Oh, I forgot the most important thing. Wait, I want you to open it. Cause you were really excited about it. So this is called a mystery pack and they're bags, like There's three reusable, reusable Trader Joe's bags, yeah. but they're from different states. Yeah, so you don't know which one you're gonna get. And we love a mystery box. I love mystery. So wait, you get three in there? Three, yeah, there's oh, three geez. bags. What's it gonna be? All right, first one. Dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. Idaho. Oh, cute. I'm going to Boise. I'm going to Boise. It's pronounced Boise. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Boise. Wait, that's cute. That's so I cute. love potatoes. We love taters. Oh, yeah. All right, number two. Drum roll. Oh, Indiana. Indiana. <laughs> cute, it's like uh, Indianapolis. Oh, and then right. there's corn on the back. I love corn. Corn, Never. Cute. I've never been to Indiana. I don't think I have. I've never been to either of those right. states, actually. Okay, and last but not least, Atlanta! Atlanta, we got gorgeous. The peaches. I, I love corn, I love potatoes, and I love peaches. Wow. So I couldn't be happier. I like Georgia. I like the peach. Yeah, that one's cute. cute. Nice. So now we obviously, like the next time we go, we have to get more because we need to. I mean, we, we, gotta, we gotta get all 50 states. I was hoping maybe they like Alaska or something. I thought it'd be funny if we got like Arizona. <laughs> Arizona, California. 
I'm a Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that'd be kind of cool. I would like that. So anyway, that is our Trader Joe's haul. We're gonna clean up, put this stuff away, set up some of our holiday things, and then we'll see what we get up to. It's much later. We just made some dinner. Here are the little cucumbers that we marinated in like a soy sauce, mirin, sugar, red pepper flakes, ginger, garlic. Just kidding, no mirin, uh, rice, wine, vinegar. And it looks delicious. We made some salmon. I put eel sauce, kewpie mayo, and sriracha. Why, can't, why is my brain not working? And then we have furikake on the rice. And it looks delish. This one's better. Drew likes this one, and it's flavored like eggs. A and C. <laughs> and then we also have these little seaweed snacks on the side. What's a lovely meal. Now I think we're gonna relax on the couch with our dinner, obviously, and watch some Squid Games. There's a Squid Games TV show on Netflix, and we've like instantly, yeah, Squid Games The Challenge, I think it's called. We've like instantly become obsessed with watching it. It's definitely, Produced like I feel like there are things that are fake because it's a reality show, but I mean it's entertaining nonetheless So that's what we're gonna do You guys If it looks like I've been run over by a truck, it's because I have Oh my god, I can't <laughs> I Can't get over what I look like in the viewfinder. Um, if you couldn't tell I got my shit rocked by like this cold that's going around i tested negative for covid um it has just been pure hell like this has been the most humbling cold of, of my life like i have cried daily um i've sent drew to the store like three times for various things um there was this TikTok that i saw i'll just put it right here on the screen this has quite literally been my experience over the last like week. It's actually been like almost a week since I filmed that last clip. I think that was like six days ago and thank God. I mean, I was trying to get ahead on Vlogmas. I was trying to be like, okay, every year I get really stressed. So let me film like a week in advance or like a few days in advance or whatever. Um, and so that was supposed to be like continuing through Vlogmas so that I wouldn't have to stress about like, you know, going home to Arizona and like getting things done before then and having to edit while I'm there and blah, blah, blah. And like, I mean, it's a good thing because otherwise I would not have uploaded anything for Vlogmas. Um, so yeah, I, I think it was like the day after I met with Rachel, I just started feeling like really bad. I woke up with a sore throat. I was actually supposed to go to San Diego this past weekend with Drew to visit Sierra and Steven and Grace. We were like so excited about it and we weren't able to go. I was literally sick as a dog and I feel like I just kept getting worse and worse and worse every day up until today. Like today is the first day where I sort of feel normal, but like not normal. You can see just how like, <laughs> It's so bad. Yeah, it, this time it was like the most intense like sinus burning and then it would make my eyes water and my eyes became like raw. Like my eyes are like, there's barely any skin left. Like it's actually scary. They're so raw to the touch. I have to be so careful. I don't know what it was. It was very weird. But anyways, I'm drinking coffee out of my mug that I got from Harrods when we were in London and I'm just trying to get through it because wow, what, what a week. Truly humbling. So anyways, okay, I thought, you know, I didn't even get to show you like the updates when we hung up like the garland and we did all that that night and I was like, oh, I'll show them in the morning. Like all the stuff we got from Trader Joe's, we we're gonna do like a taste test, all that kind of stuff. That just, that went down the drain. So let's do some updates. This has been my little cubby where I have rotted, truly rotted for the last six days. Um, yeah, there's probably an imprint of my body in this couch forever because I have not moved from this spot except to go to sleep. Drew has been taking great care of me. But anyways, we did end up hanging up this garland. Maybe I will turn on the light. If you can hear beeping outside. I'm sorry, there's like construction going on, but look at that. It's so cute. I love it. I'm so glad we got it. It has been like shedding on the floor quite a bit, but we've just been sweeping it up. It's fine, no worries. And it's just so cozy in here, especially in the evenings. Like when we have this like fake garland, there's some lights in it, so we turn that on and it's just looking so cute and then we ended up hanging up that sort of like I don't know bundle of greens I thought it was like it had mistletoe in it but it doesn't but we just hung it over this door we're just pretending it has mistletoe it's so cute here's our little greenery bouquet thingy it's so cute it's like very winter 
floral berries in the snow or something like that. Very, very cute. We have our little poinsettia over there. We put that plant over there because we don't have anywhere to put any of our plants. Drew's making us some toast so we can try our advent calendar because we do finally have bread. Okay, updates on the Trader Joe's stuff. This jingle jangle is crack to me. I haven't had much of an appetite because I've been sick, but this stuff, I have been absolutely housing every single day because it's just that good. This stuff is unbelievable. I did eat most of it. Um, this is how much is left in like six days. It was um, overflowing. So there's like uh, chocolate covered Oreos basically, dark chocolate and milk chocolate pretzels, um, chocolate covered car caramel corn, peanut butter cups, <laughs> leave me alone, peanut butter cups, that are like dark and milk chocolate, little M&M thingies. This is like if you picked all the good things. Like I don't love when I get like a like a candy trail mix thing. It has a bunch of nuts and stuff like that. Like this is like for true chocolate lovers. Oh, so delicious. And then these astounding multi-flavor JoJo's, amazing. I'm not a big fan of the double chocolate ones, but the peppermint chocolate, the vanilla gingerbread, and the peanut butter heavenly and then these gingerbread sandwich cookies are really good <laughs> we were actually gonna like taste test all of these that didn't happen these are really good they are very like spiced and very sweet but they are delish what else did we try oh we had the pr uh the pretzel bread pudding that was really good it was very salted though so if you're into like super salty caramel please just don't look at my face actually just turn away while you're watching this um that was good these uh belgian like milk chocolate thingies not impressive the white bean chicken chili was good i actually kind of forgot about it so maybe i'll have the rest of that for lunch these iced gingerbread squares are delicious it's like a chewy piece of iced pumpkin pie delish what else did we have oh we had the the like pub mix oh yeah that snack mix is gone the yeah it was like um sesame crackers and it was like sweet and salty though. yeah like so cheese it's like true pub mix where it <clears throat> no. Salty. Yeah, but it was really good. I would try the spicy one next time. Wasn't there something that I got? That yeah. I ate? Oh, the cream puffs. Those oh, the nice. cream puffs were really good. Yeah, those were really, really good too. So yeah, I mean, all the holiday stuff was a hit, except these like Belgian milk chocolate mousse things. It's too chocolate. It's like just chocolate. like, it just tastes like cocoa powder. Like it's just too oh. cocoa-y. But anyways, okay, let's do our advent calendar. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get off camera ASAP. I need to go rest. I'm sweating currently. We're kind of matching. Ooh. That's sort of cute. Oh God. Pause. Cut this. First, we're gonna do bomb memo, our little jam calendar. So we're gonna open five and six, I think. This is yeah, vlogmas number three. Four. Right next to each other. Oh, cute. Am I going five? Sure. Okay. What is it? Ooh. Fake cardamom. Ooh, that's I right up your bow. alley. Yeah, that's right up your alley. That's gonna be so good. And okay, six. and then six. I'm gonna get, he made us little toasts for the like little crustinis. Ew. Number six. Oh no. Did it's, you say ew? Yeah, it's grapefruit. Grapefruit, dragon fruit. Ooh, I would I'd be actually very curious about that. Okay. Okay. Shall we try I'm them? I'm trying to think of like what I could repurpose these little things for. I know someone said that they do it for like art stuff. Like, well, it's kind of like I could use it for like for painting. Painting, but I don't need twenty four. You can make custom paints. Maybe. Uh -huh. maybe. Um, I don't know if I showed it, but this is what it looks like. In case you weren't familiar with this. Oh, listen, you you look fine, okay? Compared to this, yikes. Um, this has been like my favorite advent calendar that we've ever gotten so far. It is fun. Yeah. But I'm like wondering like if we did it again next year, like would any of these repeat or like how yeah. many how many jams are there? Yeah, how the many world? could they possibly have? I haven't mentioned this before, but I think we're gonna do like a big like charcuterie night at the end of this where we literally eat like twenty four different jams. Just a moment while we prepare. While we prepare our meal. I just realized that I don't really have that many taste buds right now, so oh. we we'll do our best. It's the sinuses, man. Alright. Cheers. Cheers. Sure. Are we just going for it? Mm. Mm. From what I can taste, it kind of just tastes like Trader Joe's like it's big, like big spread. Jam, yeah. But it's really good. I don't taste any cardamom. Do you? No, I don't. But it's good. It is good. I like big. Yeah, that's like nine out of ten for me, honestly. How about you? Oh, I would say eight. If there, if I could taste the cardamom, I think it would have been like yeah, up there. that's true. 
Cheers. Oh, wait, what's this one again? Grapefruit, dragon fruit? Yeah. Yikes. Hmm. It's quite nice. It's actually very refreshing. Mm hmm. It's citrus. What did you do? A little tart. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But I do get that grapefruit. Like, yeah. You know, like at the end when you were eating grapefruit, it kind of turns into like, it's very acidic. Like metallic. Yeah. yeah. I know what you're saying. I like grapefruit though, so. No, no issues with me. I mean, honestly, I'll give that like an eight. I've liked them all so far. The only one that was like the cherry peppercorn or whatever, and that just didn't taste like anything. But like, it was still good. Mm -hmm. Even the banana one was. Mm -hmm. What do you give it? Maybe like a six. Okay. Six or That's like a pretty generous rating for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not. This man will be honest, okay? And we love him for it. Next is mine. The C's calendar. We're gonna do five and six. All right. Oh, this is a big boy. Number five. Maybe it's like a. Is up here. Do you have like a favorite C's candy? Um, anything with like caramel. Oh, oh it's, a it's a lolly. What kind? Chocolate? Oh, is it just like a hard? Oh. I think I used to like these as a kid. It's like a hard chocolate lollipop. Can I be honest with you? Yes. As a kid. You hated C's I candy? I hated C's candy. Why? I don't know, because it was like not good. I mean, it's not like it's not I don't fantastic. Know. I agree. I'm not saying it's not good, but like as a kid, I was just like you just weren't into why? it. I liked anything with like the caramel like or the the like truffle ones or not. Yeah, they're like the chocolate truffles. Mm. Like it had like a chocolatey caramel or but I would like poke my thumb at the bottom of them and if I didn't like I it, mean, then I would put it back. And we would get like any type of ones. assorted chocolates as like mm -hmm. a gift. I'd be like, why is this? Yeah, <laughs> number six. This looks really similar to the other one. Oh, I forgot to show that one. It's, it's like a hard chocolate lollipop. Mm. Oh, it's like fudge? Oh. Nope. Oh. Um, what is that? It's like a chocolate lollipop. Why did it crunch like an actual lollipop? Because it is. It's almost like a sissy pop. Oh. Okay, and then this one kind of looks like all the other ones. Dare I say? Yeah, they're all the same shape. Mm -hmm. Is it pudgy? It's the marshmallow one again. Again? You already had a marshmallow. Oh, yeah, it's the same one. It's the marshmallow caramel. Boo! His! I don't like marshmallow. I mean, it's pretty good, but I'm, I'm not in the mood for it. Okay, mm, your turn. My turn, I opened a lot. You opened a lot, so you're just gonna do like one? No. <laughs> Wait, I opened all the way up to like nine, I think. Hmm? You do have 30, to be fair. Did I do nine? Mm -hmm. Nine's right there. Oh, I did eight. I opened one yesterday because I was bored. Mm -hmm. He goes, I'm gonna open one. I was like, do it. Oh, what's this? A penguin? <laughs> oh, what is it? Penguin? <laughs> okay. It's probably from like a gotcha pawn machine. Like a mom and baby penguin? Oh, and, and it's like pass? a sled? Wait, how does this work? So this is a... You can show I it. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a, a oh, heated, heated table with a blanket. It's a Japanese mm. thing, like, there's the heater and you put your legs underneath it and it keeps you warm. That's cute. I do think the other one might have been better. The one Wait, I want to do ten. Year. Oh. Because it's big. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna have no left, that's okay. It's just 30 Oh yeah, this is the this 30 is Days 30 of Japan, days. by the way. I, I showed it in other vlogs, but just in case you didn't catch those. It's by, uh, Ooh. what are they called again? Segoy Mart. Segoy Mart. <gasps> That's big. Oh, it's Frieza. Oh, it's like a Lego. So it's Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. Oh. They're like the nano blocks. Cute. Dang. This thing is almost done. Third time, okay. <laughs> now you can have like a little craft to do. Do for yeah, sorry, maybe Don't next time. Eat things. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. Don't mind her. I'm going to continue to heal myself. So we can come back swinging. She's been smoking three packs a day. Yeah, clearly, as you can hear. <clears throat> um, and I want to do like all the festive things. I was literally telling Drew, I was like laying in bed and I was like, I just want, my, I want to feel normal again. I want to go back to my normal life. And he was like, you will. And I was like, it doesn't feel like it. There you go. Just one of my hair has been messed up this whole time. I Whatever. Know, it was like, <laughs> like way up I here. Like, where she <laughs> She's trying to get out of here. Uh, but thank you so much for watching this vlog. Hopefully it was still somewhat entertaining. I want to do like way more festive stuff, but we'll, we'll catch up for the next one. So we will see you very soon. Bye. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy. <coughs> I gotta go.